Hi everybody, my name is Arthur and welcome to another Pixelpad tutorial. We are coding our Clash Royale light game and last class we did the combat on our game, right? So now our units are dealing damage to each other and destroying each other. I mean, they get destroyed if their life gets to zero, right? But we cannot see their lives yet and that's what we're going to be doing this class. We are going to display their lives as we have done with the castle. So the castles display their own lives, right? And we're going to do the same. So let's see how we did it on the castle. Let's open here the castle class. So the castle has an HP bar that is a life bar. And then the HP bar has the sprite that is the castle life bar, right? And in the loop tab, I keep updating the, the HP bar to be right under my castle. And I also keep updating the scale of that HP bar to always match the castle's life. And the code we need for the unit and for the enemy unit to display their lives is basically the same. But we need something different for the sprite. If you remember, whenever uh, when we got the castle life bar, uh, we got the big life bar, right? So let's go here on the sprite. So I'll click on the plus. And you can see here that we got this one here for the castle, the big life bar. But for the units, we are going to get the regular life bar. So let me look for it here. The regular life bar. That is a bit shorter than the uh, big life bar. So I select this one, select asset, and this one I'll call a uh, unit life bar. Press OK. And I have my unit life bar here. So you can see that it's shorter than the castle life bar, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go inside. Uh, let's do for the unit first and later we do for the enemy unit. So if you remember when we did it for the castle, we had to include the maximum life, right? Because we need the maximum life to calculate the uh, scale for the H bar, HP bar. So I need the maximum life. So I'll go to my uh, unit and before I set my life here, I'm going to create a self dot max life. And this is going to be a hundred. And then I'm going to make my life to be the same as my maximum life whenever this unit is spawned in my game, right? And I need to create a HP bar. So I can say here that self dot HP bar is a life bar. And self dot HP bar has a sprite that is a new sprite from the image. What's the name of the image? Unit life bar dot PNG. So unit life bar dot PNG. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Whenever I press play, I spawn a unit. You can see that I already create my HP bar, but it's on the middle of the screen. So the first thing is to make this life bar to follow wh uh, whatever my player is. So let me stop my game here. I'll go to the loop tab because we have to keep updating this life bar's uh, position. And I'll do it on top here. I will say that my so self dot HP bar. So my HP bar X position will be the same as my X position and my HP bar Y position will be the same as my Y position. And now if I press play, I spawn my unit and you can see that my HP bar is on the right on the same position as my unit, right? But I actually want to bring this HP bar down to be under my my unit and not on the same position. So I'm going to take some pixels from here. So let's see, maybe 50 minus 50 on the Y position to bring it down. Let's see if that works. Yep. So now it's always under my player, but you can see that whenever I create a unit, a life bar uh, spawns right in the middle very fast, right? You can see that, right? Look, when I'm creating a lot, you can see the life bar blinking there. That's because there is a delay from when we create the life bar until the time where we uh, refresh the life bar position, right? 
And this delay is like one frame, two frames. So it's very fast, but even though we can see uh, the life bar blinking there once it's created, right? So one thing that we can try to do, let's see if that will solve, is once the life bar is created, I will take its position on the X axis. And I'll say that this is equal to 2000. So 2000 is a very big position for the X. So what I'm trying to do is whenever I create my life bar for the player, I want this life bar to create to be created outside of the screen. So this X equals 2000 will make my life bar go far away from, to the right and out of the screen. So I cannot see it. And then on the next frame, whenever it refreshes its position, it will then bring it back to the unit's position. Let's see if that works. So I press play and you can see that now it works, right? But I don't want to keep saying this here because I will have the same problem if I do it for my enemy unit and my enemy unit will have to do the same thing. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take this out of here and I'll paste it inside of the life bar. So the life bar on the start, whenever the life bar is created, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take its X position and send it to 2000. So now I don't have that problem anymore. My life bar is gonna be created outside of the screen, but that's not a problem because my castle keeps refreshing, keeps updating uh, the H bar, HP bar position to be always uh, on the right position and my unit as well. So whenever we create the life bar, it's gonna be sent to the 2000 position on the X outside of the screen. And then later, one frame later, so one frame is very fast, it's not even a second, like very, very fast. So you won't even see it happening. And then on the next frame, my unit and my castle will bring the life bar uh, to the right position, right? So you can see that now we don't have the life bar blinking at the middle there anymore, right? That's good. So uh, the next problem here now, well, we have a couple problems. You can see that when my uh, unit is destroyed, the life bar stays there because the life bar is not being destroyed once my unit is destroyed. And, but we have another problem that is the life bar is not updating the amount of life that my unit has. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna go inside my unit on the loop tab. And here I keep refreshing the HP bar's position. But I also want to keep refreshing the HP bar dot scale X. And as I said, it's the same formula we used for the castle. So it's life divided by maximum life. So I'm going to go to my unit on the loop scale X is equal self dot life divided by self dot maximum life. So let's see if that works. I'll wait for a unit. They go there. And now it should reduce my life. Yeah, you could see that it's reducing my life. Very, very nice. So the next thing now is to make my life disappear whenever my, my unit disappear. Whenever my unit is destroyed, I want my life to also be destroyed. So my unit can be destroyed in two ways. My unit can be destroyed if it touches the enemy castle, right? Or if its life get to zero. Right? So what I could do is I could make here uh, whenever my player is destroyed, my unit is destroyed by the castle, I could also destroy my HP bar and then I would have to do it here as well. So destroy HP bar because here on top here is whenever my unit collides with the castle, right? It deals damage to the castle. And then it should destroy the HP bar and then destroy itself. And then here is whenever my life is smaller or equal than zero, then it destroy my HP bar and then destroy myself, right? So we have to put it on these two places. And if I press play now, let's test our game. Let me try creating a unit that goes in the same direction here. Yeah, it's working there. It's working as well. And we got an error, HP bar is not defined. Oh, okay. Because the name is not HP bar, the name should be self.hp bar. So my HP bar. I'm gonna destroy my HP bar. Okay, now it should work. Let's try again. Press play, create some units. 
let's see their life goes down goes down again and they all get destroyed right i want to see here if i can make my player die for one of these enemies to see if my life is also disappearing so to do that i'm gonna go to my enemy unit and i'm gonna increase the attack damage to 50 just so an enemy can kill my unit pretty fast now i just have to summon a unit that goes in this path and there you go so my player is also dying very fast okay so that's working so i'm gonna put the attack damage for my enemy unit back to one and everything that we've done to the unit we have to do for the enemy unit as well so is the same code so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just copy everything from my unit and paste on my enemy unit so i'm gonna copy the hp bar with the life and the maximum life so these four lines from the unit start tab Control c to copy i will go to my enemy unit and i will paste it here Control v but I have now two lives. I don't want two lives, so I can get rid of this one. Now I have the same code, as you can see on unit, I have four lines, space, two lines, right? And on enemy unit, I have the same thing, four lines, space, two lines. And I have to do the same on the loop tab. So I copy this from my unit loop tab, these three lines that position my HP bar and fix the scale. Control C to copy from here. I go to my enemy unit on the loop tab and I'll add some lines here and do Control V to paste it there. And the last thing is uh, missing for us to do is to destroy the life bar once this unit is destroyed, but just let's just check if it's working. So there you go. So it's losing life, it's working but the life bar is not getting destroyed once this unit is destroyed, right? Let's try to destroy the one with troops like that. Yeah, so whenever, well, when the when the, the, bat, the bat dies uh, f by another unit, you can think that it's, it is working, it is destroying the life bar, but actually it's not. It's just because the life bar has the scale zero, so it's not showing up for us but we have many life bar objects here that are invisible for us because their scale is zero and we don't want that because the more objects we have in, inside our game the more processing our computer needs so your your game will get very laggy uh if you leave it like that so we want to destroy the life bar so again on the unit loop tab we destroy the life bar whenever we destroy the unit right and we destroy the unit whenever we touch the castle or whenever our life reaches zero. So on the enemy unit, I'll do the same. So before I destroy myself here, if my enemy unit touches a castle, I will destroy self.hp bar. I'll destroy my own HP bar. And here as well, if my life reaches zero, I will destroy uh, self.hp bar, my own HP bar. So let's see if that's working. Press play. Oh, I should have. I should leave the, the bat to. I should allow the, the bat to touch my castle. Okay. Let's see. Because otherwise I cannot see the life, right? So let's see if the bat touched my castle. The life should disappear. And now it's working. Very nice. So you can see that we have a combat system already working. We can see. Uh, our lives we can see the castle's lives what is missing now is i want to add the the mana or the the elixir right for our game so we cannot just spam my card and we will actually need to uh to store some mana or some elixir to to spawn our cards or to spawn our troops right so we'll we're gonna do it on the next class so for now just save your game and I'll wait for you in the next video. Bye.